The Pattern Player is a tractor performance tool that allows you to add rhythmic drum patterns on top of your tracks. This tool has been designed for hyper-intuitive use. Besides the integrated 808 and 909 kits, it comes with really great sounding kits produced by a wide range of different artists. The Pattern Player is the third effect unit mode and can be selected in the effects mode selection right here via this drop-down menu. Next thing we want to do is send our audio of the pattern player to a specific deck. For this, I'm going to send it to deck B by turning on the effects slot right here. When hitting play, it automatically restarts the pattern player sequencer on the first beat of the sequencer and syncs it with Tractor's master clock. It's also good to note that it will automatically fall on the nearest beat to allow for intuitive syncing. Here we have the volume, which controls the volume of the sample. We have a drop down menu to select our different kits. Within each kit, you have eight different one shots, which can be changed by the previous and next buttons here. And we also have eight different patterns, which can be adjusted with this parameter right here. It's good to know that you can further modify this by adding your own steps to the sequencer. And if you don't like it and you wanna go back to the original pattern, you can click right here. Next, you have pitch, which changes the pitch of the sample. Double click to reset it. And then we have decay, which changes the length of the sample. Beyond that, we have a duck feature, which ducks your track using compression to make room for the sample playing on top. Let's listen to that. can really hear how present that snare is now. And if we change the decay, it'll change the amount of ducking that's occurred. And volume controls the amount of modulation of that ducking. Another really cool thing you can do is save a snapshot. And that way, if you change to a different kit and you go back, it'll automatically recall the settings that you saved with that snapshot. The pattern player can be changed to additional effect units by assigning the deck it is inserted on to another effect slot. I'm gonna change it from deck B to deck A. Let's go ahead and hit play. And now let's turn on effect slot two. Turn this reverb on. You can hear how that reverb is affecting the pattern player. And if one effect isn't enough, you can go to Tractor's Preferences under Effects and change this to four effect units. Now you can have multiple effects all affecting that pattern player. It's also worth mentioning that if you have any tracks that use a flexible beat grid and they're set as the master, the pattern player will follow any tempo changes that occur. Mm -hmm. 